now. Live with Damian Sanders on CIE Fashion Talk Radio. Where fashion meets music and music meets fashion. This is Ebony Cavani Roberts. Hi, this is Teresa of Teresa CC Design. This is Kendall Swanwick. Hi, this is Stevie Edwards from I Love Stevie Designs. You are tuned in live at CIE Fashion Talk Radio. Hello, you are listening to Kelly O'Brock at CIE Fashion Talk Radio. That's right, this is DJ Bagger from 22.3 Takeover Vegas Radio, baby. And you know what? You listen to CIE Fashion Talk Radio, baby. Let's go. Welcome to CIE Fashion Talk Radio. I'm your host, Damian Sanders, holding it down for the West Coast here in beautiful Los Angeles. Have some beautiful guests in the house tonight. I have the CEO of the studio located in San Juan, Puerto Rico, Gladius. They have a new animated Emmy Award winning animated series entitled Phantomville that's out now. I have Mr. Eddie Martinez in the house. How are you doing, sir? Oh, we are really happy to be here. Hello to all of our friends in Los Angeles and California from sunny San Juan, Puerto Rico, and from Gladius. We're really happy to be here, and thank you for the opportunity. Now, thank you for the time to talk to CIE Fashion Talk Radio. Now, the studio Gladius. Now, tell us about the company and how it was founded. Well, uh, we decided to found Gladius four years ago because uh, we had a big need here in Puerto Rico to develop major projects in computer animation, uh, let's say, for example, animated series, movies, commercials. And for many years, we had a lot of advertising agencies and uh, different channels here in Puerto Rico. And we, we covered pretty well that area. But in digital animation, we needed something big, a big studio, to develop great things and very creative things here in Puerto Rico and for the Caribbean to be exported. And that's why was one of the main reasons that I decided to found Gladys four years ago. But besides that, also, we needed to uh, retain a lot of great talents that we have here in the island. Uh, we export a lot of talents for different companies and animation studios in the United States and all over the world, but we needed to retain some of those talents here in Puerto Rico and do magical things that we can make uh, for uh, these types of uh, industries. Now, first off, I want to congratulate you on your Emmy Award winning animated series, Phantomville. Thank you. Now, tell us, how did you come Thank up with you that? Thank you very con- much. Oh, oh, man, our pleasure. Now, tell us about that concept and um, how you guys came up with Phantomville. Perfect. I'm going to let you uh, I'm going to let you hear the uh, creative director of the series, uh, Professor Jamil Medina, to speak a little bit about the concept that we develop here with lots of love and passion. Fantastic. Hi, how you doing? My name is Jamil Medina. I'm the creative director of Gladius. Uh, Phantomville is, uh, is a, special, a special project for us. Uh, we, we, we wanted to feel, we, we wanted to tell a story about how you cannot just judge a, a book for its cover. Uh, the, 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 the series is mostly racial, cultural, and, uh, and the main character is a ghost. <laughs> and in every episode, we meet different ghosts with different unfinished business that, uh, the kids need to learn how to be friends with them and help them out. And, uh, and even the, the, the kids, uh, learn from each other how they're special they are and a fantastic uh, if you know the person, they can be friends. And that's a, that's a special thing about Phantom Bill. And uh, it was created with that. It was created with the idea of telling the, the world that uh, everybody, if you know them, they can, be, they can be nice, they can be great people, they can be amazing if you just put up and know them. So, it, so it's fun and it's educational. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Fantastic. So now... Um, Eddie, Eddie here, that's one of the main uh, objectives that we have, that all of the projects of, from Gladius, they should be uh, ed- educate, educational and also very entertaining for the whole family. Those are the two key concepts that we have for any uh, develop- developments that we have here at the Now, do we also have Nicole on the line? Yes, I'm here. The lead coordinator. How are you doing, Nicole? No, I'm very good. I'm very good. Thank you. 
Fantastic. Now, tell us, um, what do you think about Phantomville and what can the fans expect most from it? Well, um, what more I, I most love from is um, yeah, we have had the opportunity to, to see the kids' reaction when they see the show. Um, we have five decent characters with different personalities, different cultures, and one of the characters um, is Tess, so she, we, we had an ASL interpreter, and we animated the, the, the hand sequence. So being able to see the reactions of of that community was, was really amazing and, and the inclusion and the the way that we, we made that communication between the friends in the in the series is really amazing and the kids know that if, if, if you don't have any anything that that can withstand between being friends with someone. Okay, so for the fans out there that want to get more familiar with the series, how do they go about doing that? <laughs> Um, we have uh, our, our trainer uh, up online in our, in our website. You can, you can see it in, in there. And, and soon, we hope that the review will be online. Online, so the fans can go and stream it on the website or Netflix or anything yes. like that? Yes, of course. Right, right. And we also, hopefully, uh, can, can export it or send it to any major platform. Uh, for example, if there is any uh, Netflix or Hulu hearing this, uh, we're ready. We're ready. Broadcasting live from Hollywood, California, CIE, CIE. Fashion Talk Radio, interviewing the best in fashion from today, yesterday, and tomorrow.